Here he comes, nice in the beak. Oh, nice fish. Still yeah. staying down and shaking his head. Hold on. It is early summer, but it feels much more like midsummer. I mean, today temperatures are supposed to be 90 degrees, high humidity, brutally hot for sure, no wind. I'm with my good buddy Charlie Bueller, and I think in days like this, you just got to go trolling. Yeah, I agree 100%. You know, trolling around isn't just about driving with the lines behind the boat. We got to get on the flats, we got to test the brake and, and get in the basin and see where they are. You know, absolutely. When the fish are scattered like this, you just got to cover water and try to manufacture bites. The Muskie Hunter, brought to you by Yeti Coolers, Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's, Ontario, Canada, Shimano, Power Pro, Mercury Outboards, Ranger Boats, Motor Guide, Muskie Frenzy Lures, and Chaos Tackle. When there's miles of water in front of you and hundreds of feet below, you need a boat with the chops to dominate, no matter the conditions. with the strength and technology to overcome the elements and the competition. Ranger Boats, still building legends, one at a time. As musky anglers, we all plan, prepare, and are consumed in the pursuit of a trophy muskie. Skix is available with two-piece saltwater tested tough technology for easy storage in your boat or truck and are designed to handle any musky lure. You can be assured you're backed by precision Shimano technology. If you fish for skis, you need these. We're out here trolling and what we're doing is we've got a big wide spread of rods. I've got rod over here on a planer board uh, with a lure out there. It's running pretty shallow. It's only a few feet below the surface. And then as you move closer to the boat, I've got a couple other rods here that Charlie and I have got set up that are running deeper. And if you flip over to the other side of the boat, you see the same thing. I've got deeper rods and then out on the other end, we've got one that's real shallow out on the other end. And the whole idea here is we're covering multiple depths and we also have a big wide path or swatch as we're out here trolling so we can cover a wide area and right below the surface even getting down 15 foot if we need to do that or more we could do that we're fishing in some of the basin we're coming up over the edge and up on the flats trying to establish where these fish are and how deep and we're trying to figure out how deep they are how fast you got to go and of course what lure is going to make them bite there's a the fish here, here, here. Straight rod, straight rod, get it. I got it. Neutral? Yeah. How much line you got 55. out? 55. Okay. How much line you got? 20. 20? 20, all gonna get tangled in that, oh, aren't you? Oh, and he came oh. off. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh. Fish! Straight rod, straight rod. Got him. Yeah, 65. What rod do you want out of the way first, Jim? Uh, just get this back one, that one there, and I think we'll be okay. In here. Staying down. Still pretty good, 30 foot. Pick your side if you stand down. Yeah. Better fish. 
Staying down. Yeah. 10 feet. You can start seeing them somewhere lighter here. Head shakes. Oh, nice fish. Oh, and he came oh. off. Oh. Oh. oh, man, that was a nice one. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm not touching the next one. <laughs> I'm afraid. We've had a few strikes. Some of them have been pike, but some have been muskies as well. Just couldn't boat them. It's just that crazy the way it happens. The good news is we know how deep the fish are. They're in that 10 to 14 foot range. We know the speed. We got a couple hot baits and we got a hot area. So now we're gonna go back and forth and just strain that and just cruise through there back and forth trying to replicate it, see if we can't get more to bite. We know fish are moving up on this edge and if we make contact with them, we can get a bite. It's just a question of just pound it and pound it and pound it, come through that area and sooner or later, another rod's gonna go off. Fish, fish, fish somewhere. On the board. Got him? Yeah, pulling hard. <laughs> 85. Good head shake there. Okay. Cluster here. Keep coming. 65. Okay. Almost at the board. All right. Turn the rod this way. Keep reeling. Ready? Got him? Yep, still on. Okay. What do you got? I'm staying down. All right. Head shaking. Coming. 20. Okay. 18. Coming at me. On the side here. Okay. Nice. Oh! Oh, All right. Woo! Good net job there, buddy. Huh. He almost right. jumped into the boat. <laughs> oh my gosh. Finally get one Finally in. Finally got one in the net, man. A lot of miles for that one. It's a good start. Let's go get another one. Oh, I'm gonna put you back. All right. Beautiful fish. Look at the belly on that guy. You're eating good. Nice job, Charlie. All right. Let's go get another one, Jim. Okay, I'm in. Fish! Got him? Yeah, I got him. All right. Okay, I'm pulling down. Oh, oh. good. Good. What's going on? Fighting like crazy, man. <laughs> Fighting like crazy, just ripping on a ton of line. All right, put it in neutral for a second so you got a little control, okay? Okay. I got 120 feet of line. Oh yeah, good for you. Big fish. Is it? Yes, I just saw the belly of it. Okay. I'll get. I'll take care of it. You're good. You're in neutral. Get this guy out of the way. In the beak. Okay. Oh, where are you going? Going under the boat now. Okay. I got him, yeah. Nice, nice fish. Job. Nice fish. Whew. Yeah. All right. Man, that was that was a lot of line he took out. Yeah. Good fish. Beautiful. Whew. And I am roasting yeah. right now. Good job. Well, it is Jim. like a billion degrees right here. I mean, literally a billion degrees. Oh, we just got a nice one in the net here. We made a move out, got really hot and flat, kicked it off the break, kind of on the edge of the basin, and this is what we got. Really nice fish, real heavy. Nice one, Charlie. All right. Really nice fish. Let's get her back. Right. Out in the basin, chewing on shad. I like when they feed on shad. <laughs> we matched the hatch for that one. Right? Yeah.
There's no feeling like it. When you prep the gear, done the research, found the spot, nailed the presentation, and now there's only one thing left to do. Keep fishing. So gear up with all the best fishing gear, only at Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Shop in store or online. The ultimate fishing system. Your choice of powerful fish finding tools, all connected. From sonar and trolling motor to navigation and networking. To fit the way you fish. All with touch screen control from HDS Live, the heart of your system. Find more, see more, catch more. Upgrade to the ultimate fishing system and get up to $1,000 cash back. At Mercury, we invested thousands of hours of engineering manpower so you can enjoy hours and hours of untapped horsepower. The V6 Mercury Pro XS. Light, quick, efficient. Mercury, go boldly. At Mercury, there are no limits to what we'll do to make sure you have no limits either. The V8 Mercury Pro XS. Light, quick, efficient. Mercury, go boldly. As muskie anglers, we all plan, prepare, and are consumed in the pursuit of a trophy muskie. Skix is available with two-piece saltwater tested tough technology for easy storage in your boat or truck and are designed to handle any musky lure. You can be assured you're backed by precision Shimano technology. If you fish for skis, you need these. Ontario, Canada, the breathtaking scenery, the incredible wildlife, the endless sunsets, and the muskies. Ontario, Canada is home to the greatest muskie waters in the world, and giant muskies are awaiting your next cast. Ontario, Canada, where muskie dreams come true. Travel safely in Ontario. Sarah Yvonne from Elmo, Minnesota, caught and released his 53 and a quarter incher from Lake of the Woods in Ontario, Canada. You know, with trolling, there's so many aspects that determine your success. Speed, lures, color, but probably one of the biggest things you gotta establish for your day is the depth. So, you know, we've been trolling some basin style lake where we're out over deep water, we're up on the edge, we're on the flat, and you know, throughout the day, you've got to establish the pattern where the fish are. At this time of the year, sometimes they can be spread out. So the key is finding the depth where the fish are and start making contact and replicate that again and again to put the odds in your favor. That's a muskie that we're seeing on the side imaging. It's, it's off to the side, you can see the shadow, you can almost see that fork and the fins like that. So side imaging is just an awesome tool to know that, hey, there's fish off to the side of the boat or where they may be or if they're near bottom. It's just a great thing to always be able to scan and, uh, and just kind of keep an eye on what you're seeing off to the side of the boat. Fish, fish, fish! Got him? Yeah, yeah. Feel good? Yeah, feels good. 25, and down, 20, 15, doing it here, yeah, get, yeah, get up, seen him yet, good shot at him coming by, going by, oh, he's deep, he's deep, fish, 
Come on to this side, Charlie. I got it. Yes. All right. Woo. Same bait. On the chrome. All right. This. Awesome fish. Look at that, nice. Bright sun, calm, going on the chrome. Oh, he wants to go. He's all coiling on me. Can I sneak him over he was here? A one. Yeah. Wants to go. I just love it when they just rip that crankbait. See ya. Yes. Whew. That's one way to beat the heat. Catching fish somewhere up shallower, somewhere out in like 15, 18, and that one in the bright sun, we hadn't had a strike in a while. It was really more of a question of just going and trying to, you know, come up on the break and drop and make contact with bottom maybe, or just come off a point. And Charlie's just weaving around, and we got that one a little bit shallower. Even though it's sunny and uh, hot and all kinds of activities, that one moved up a little bit. You know, sometimes that can happen. And so, even though you kind of, we thought we kind of had that depth of the day established, Sometimes you just got to vary a little bit, come up and down off the break and scrounge one up or manufacture a bite. That's what Charlie did. One thing is for certain, it is hot out here. We've had some cloud cover, which kind of feels good, but the humidity is like, you know, off the charts. And then, uh, you know, clouds apart and the sun will come out and you just feel like you're baking. And what's happening though, is you're getting this change of light conditions and some of the baits that the fish want are changing depending on if it's cloudy or if it's sunny. And now that the sun's come out, I'm switching to a lot more of the chrome patterns on some of these lures with maximize my flash. Because it is flat calm out here and the visibility is much better. So a lot of times what I want to do is I just want something super bright, reflecting light everywhere down there, get that muskie's attention and hopefully get them to bite. So I'll play around with colors and if it's cloudy, I'll start going to more natural patterns. When the sun comes out and it's super bright, that's when I'll go to the chromes. Fish, yep, maybe, yep. Get this guy out of the way. How's it feel? Feels pretty good. Stand down. Yep, stand down. I like it. 40 foot. Right. We're good right here? Yeah. 30. Coming in. Coming in hot. Charging the boat. Yeah. 20 foot. Get you on that side so you can get, you know, fit. All right, here it comes. Right in the beak. Okay. The bad bird. I got him. I got yeah. him. Yeah. All right, nice. Jim. Good job, man. We'll take him. We will take him. Yes. Whew. Lots of floating weeds, and we still got him to go. Whew. A lot of work for that one, but we'll take him. All right. Got to crank through all the weeds. Clean them through, make sure all your lines are clean. And even with all the floating stuff on the rod tips and on the weed guards, the rods still go off. There you go, little buddy. See ya. This is the new Yeti Roadie 24, and it is my new best friend in the boat. It is taller and thinner than previous versions, and it holds a lot more drinks. Open up these never fail hinges and there's plenty of room for all kinds of beverages. You can load this thing with ice and you are totally good to go. And at the end of the day, you've got this great little Yeti strap here. You can pull it out and take it out, refill it, whatever you want to do. It also fits behind your driver's seat, between your driver's seat and your passenger seat there. It's perfect given this shape. So if you need a new boat companion to have plenty of drinks to keep them cold in summer, the Yeti Roadie 24, that's for you.
There's no feeling like it. When you've prepped the gear, done the research, found the spot, nailed the presentation, and now there's only one thing left to do. Keep fishing. So gear up with all the best fishing gear. Only at Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Shop in store or online. Ontario, Canada. The breathtaking scenery. The incredible wildlife. The endless sunsets. And the muskies. Ontario, Canada is home to the greatest muskie waters in the world. And giant muskies are awaiting your next cast. Ontario, Canada, where musky dreams come true. Travel safely in Ontario. When there's miles of water in front of you and hundreds of feet below, you need a boat with the chops to dominate, no matter the conditions. With the strength and technology to overcome the elements and the competition, Ranger Boats, still building legends, one at a time. At Mercury, we invested thousands of hours of engineering manpower so you can enjoy hours and hours of untapped horsepower. The V6 Mercury Pro XS, light, quick, efficient. Mercury, go boldly. At Mercury, there are no limits to what we'll do to make sure you have no limits either. The V8 Mercury Pro XS. Light, quick, efficient. Mercury, go boldly. It's time for the Yeti Tough Moment. Trolling is a great way to catch early summer muskies that are scattered. Although Charlie and Jim had a rocky start losing a few muskies, they knew they were in the right area. They utilized their electronics, particularly side imaging, to stay on the muskies and make depth adjustments. The result was boating a bunch of muskies as the light conditions changed. Now that's Yeti Tough. So if you take a look at this image here on the Laurent side imaging, you can see that's a muskie. And to the right of it is a shadow. And you see the, the distance between the muskie and the shadow is very far. And what that means is the fish is very high in the water column. If that distance between the shadow and the muskie is closer, that means the fish is closer to bottom. So generally when you're, when you're seeing muskies right or left on side imaging, also pay attention to how far is that shadow from the actual fish. Shadow's real far, high in the water, and that will help you to adjust your bait. Sometimes when you're seeing a big shadow when they're off to the right or left, you gotta bring some baits up high if you're running baits deep. Likewise, if you're seeing fish and you don't have a lot of shadow and they know the fish are deeper, and if all your baits are high, you gotta drop a few deeper. Got it? Yeah, I got him. <laughs> that was a good head shake. Wasn't it good? Come towards me. Okay. You're in neutral. Okay. Yes. Look at all that stuff on the surface. They're still biting got? though. They're still biting. <laughs> Let me get behind you. What do you got on it? Huh? Five? Okay. <laughs> I went deep with the net. That was a very deep net job. <laughs> I sneaked Holy up God. on him. Oh, good job, Jim. Not a giant, but they got to start somewhere, right? Yeah. He's eating good yeah. out in the basin. Yeah. Making a few passes and starting to put together a little bit of a pattern. Let's get him back. All right. Oof. Took off. <laughs> you can see all these weeds on the side. And I can tell you for sure that what you want to do is you got to keep cleaning them. Right? You can see that, hey, look, the lure is still clean, but no matter what, you never know. So you got to make sure you get all this stuff off your rods and off the weed guard because it will fall down. So when you've got a day where there's lots of stuff on the surface, you have just got to work. You know you can't have the lures just kind of clean. They got to be clean. 
So you gotta go rod to rod, one person drives, the other person cleans rods, and just constantly check them. And a lot of times while you're checking them and setting them, you kind of, that constant erratic action of doing that, you end up triggering strikes too. But you stay active, you keep them clean. But for said trolling's not a lot of work, is obviously never trolled when there's been lots of floating vegetation. Oh yeah, he's on there. Got him? Yep. All right, slow down. Out 55. Okay. Still taking line, 60. Inside turn too. Yeah. I'm neutraling. Right on that turn when you made it out, hey? Yeah. Nice. Right on the other waypoint too. How much line you got? I'm way. at 30, you're good. 20. Still staying down. Here he comes. In the beak. Oh, nice fish. Better one. Yep. Hold on. I All got right. It. Yeah. Nice. Ooh, that is a nice one. Yeah. Nice job. Thanks for driving. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice fish. All right. Different color on that one. Look at it, that. It is a different color. Beautiful. Look how nice that one is, huh? Wow. I'm putting together a pattern, and the pattern is white crankbaits on the edge of the basin. Let me get a quick photo of that, Charlie. That's a really nice one. Yeah. Look at that fish. Look at me. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful fish. Wow. Let's get this one back. Yeah. Getting ready. I'm going to let you go. There you go. Mm, look at that. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Oh, that was awesome great. Awesome job, man. Thanks, man. Really Thanks. good. When you get sunny, hot, bright conditions and the fish are scattered, you got to troll and you go deep, you go shallow, you'll use your electronics, the side imaging <laughs> yeah, really absolutely. paid off, and you manufacture a bite. Join us next week for another big fish adventure on The Musky Hunter. Fish, fish, fish. Here, here, here. Straight right, straight right. Get it. Got to crank through all the weeds. I oh, got right. yeah! Look how nice that one is, huh? The Musky Hunter has been brought to you by these fine sponsors. Oh, look at that. Tuned it right into a weed. Nice! <laughs> got him? Can't tell if I got weeds on the board. Fish behind it. Yeah, look at that ball. Oh my gosh. That's what happened. Ran into that. Look, uh, but the bait's still almost clean. <laughs> look at that, what that weed catcher did. Oh my gosh. Oh.